Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, April 26th, the morning edition. I'm James Spann. One more nice day than some rain to deal with over the weekend. Maybe a strong storm tomorrow. Uh, let's get in there and take a look. We'll check some of the Skycam shots around the ABC 3340 Skycam network early this morning. These were captured at uh, 5 o'clock. That's a look at downtown Birmingham, looking down 20th Street from the Daniel Building. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam and one of our Walker County Sky Cams. That is coming from Parrish. The sky is clear and it's pretty cold. Well, you can see shortwave energy passing through the uh, four corners back in the southwest United States. That will be affecting Alabama over the weekend with some rain at times. But, hey, we're starting off the day with 30s again. It's the winter that just won't go away. Uh, 30s this morning, Haleyville, Fort Payne, Gadsden, Anniston, but Birmingham warmer at 51. Another classic example why it's hard to use just one number in a forecast around here for a morning low on a clear, calm morning like this. We note there is a red flag warning up for a pretty good chunk of Alabama. The county's there in purple. That is uh, for a high wildfire danger. The dew points are low. Just be aware if you're doing any outdoor burning, be really careful. And again, we've got frost and freeze warnings north of here, Tennessee and points north. And even around here, we've had a touch of light frost, those colder pockets this morning. Okie doke, let's talk about convection. This is April after all. We have a slight risk of severe weather, the standard risk today for parts of the Red River region, uh, South Oklahoma and North Texas. Tomorrow, the standard slight risk uh, from near Tyler, Texas to Shreveport, into a pretty good chunk of North Mississippi. Uh, Alabama not involved in that. There could be a strong storm, but we don't expect any organized severe weather. And then on day three, which is Sunday, no formal risk, just the low end 5% severe weather possibilities over the southern half of the state. Rain for the next seven days, pretty big numbers. This is valid through Friday morning of next week. This is showing rain amounts of two to three inches for most of North and Central Alabama. And that might uh, be the case. Let's take a look. We'll look at modeling. We'll try and kind of talk our way through the weekend. I know a lot of you are trying to plan outdoor events. All right, this is uh, today at 1 o'clock uh, local time off the GFS, the OZ run at 500 millibars. You can see the energy coming into the Texas panhandle. But again, we're in great shape today. Sunny mid-70s uh, today. The GFS is at 74. The NAM is at 76. Rain breaks out west of here. Head of that surface low that is near Lubbock, Texas. This is tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. The uh, GFS continues to show the bulk of the rain really north of here. Uh, and I know that you're going to see, you know, high probabilities of rain and all those little app forecasts that people use, but that doesn't tell you a lot. Let's see if we can drill deeper. But the GFS is telling us the most organized rain should be north of here. Let's go to the NAM. This is the high-resolution NAM, the North American Mesoscale Model. Four kilometer resolution valid at uh, 10 o'clock local time tomorrow. So again, this this and again, this, this is just modeling, but this model often does a good job with situations like this. It's like the GFS. It's got the big rains over the Tennessee Valley of extreme North Alabama in the state of Tennessee. Uh, Huntsville, the Shoals, Scottsboro, up to Nashville, Knoxville, soaking rain. Most of Alabama. Uh, dry, although there could be a few morning showers, no doubt about that. Understand there could be a shower at any hour of the day tomorrow, but this is showing the most organized rain to the north. Now, this is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and again, we had no rain really for a pretty good chunk of Alabama. We notice a, a line of showers developing off to the west, but you can see while we're saying the weekend's not going to be a washout. Now, let's go to just after midnight tomorrow night. Uh, here comes that batch of storms in here, and that's uh, suggesting maybe some heavier rain moving into the Birmingham Metro and Tuscaloosa and Anniston and Gadsden. So just maybe a pretty decent part of the day tomorrow will be dry for this part of the state with the most organized rain coming tomorrow night, if this is correct. And let's go to Sunday afternoon. Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock, and it's got just showers in here. Um, and nothing especially heavy. Let's uh, And by the way, this is the uh, GFS on Sunday, and again, it shows showers with a cold front coming into Memphis, so clearly it's going to rain at times this weekend. We'll check the instability values on Saturday. Now, this is Saturday at 7 p.m. local time tomorrow. 
Uh, those numbers are coming up. In fact, we see a, a touch of uh, Cape, surface base Cape, near 3,000 joules on the Alabama-Mississippi border uh, west of Demopolis. So the air becomes pretty unstable tomorrow. But the shear values are just not there. Hardly any bulk shear. This is between the surface and 850 millibars. So, you know, that really lessens any concern for any, you know, rotation or tornado type stuff. And, and the, the wind fields are not that strong. Uh, the energy helicity index values are at one. And again, that's because of those higher instabilities. So uh, could there be a strong storm? Yes. Organized severe weather? Probably not. And the same thing on Sunday. I don't think we have any severe weather. Now, let's go to Monday of next week. The, the moisture axis just sticks around. This run kind of holds up the, uh, the the surface front north and west of here. So this is suggesting a chance of showers lingering into Monday. Uh, Tuesday, uh, the air a little drier, still maybe a few showers. Anything Tuesday, probably isolated. And again, Wednesday, we're in that moist axis. So chance of scattered showers. But this is the feature that's interesting. Look at the sharp trough developing on uh, Thursday. Down below that, a cold front comes in here, but really no severe weather if this is correct. And uh, look at a week from today. Wow, this is the third day of May. That is a very cold trough for the eastern United States. And look at the cold air advection coming in here. If this is right, Friday of next week, the high would be in the 50s, a very chilly north wind. Come on now, it's not going to feel like May. And then this is the following day. This, these are temperature anomalies for Saturday, May 4th at 7 a.m. And this is showing uh, temperatures 25 degrees below average for a pretty good chunk of Alabama. We might be down there in record low territory if this is right. And we think that weekend will be dry. This is race weekend at Talladega. A lot of things are happening, but uh, those mornings are going to be cold. Uh, so, again, some of the colder pockets might even see a touch of light frost in early May. Wow. Let's check the end of the forecast. This is May 11th, showing a chance of showers here, but again, not really a severe weather look. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And catch us if you can on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great Friday, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 